if you're giving these transactions to enter in a trading profit and loss account and um, we are using a T format now this is my heading Cora and Sons Limited trading profit and loss account which is the account we are entering and um, for the year ended when the accounting transaction when the annual year ended and we are using 31st 12th 2020 which is in the question for the year ended 31st 12th 2020 so in trading profit and loss accounts first we are going to start with our opening stock on the debit uh, side so i have my opening stock my opening stock now if you are not giving the full uh, description of opening stock you will differentiate the opening stock and the closing stock with the date now here we have first january 2020 and there they give us closing stock in full so we are taking this date 1st january 2020 which stands at our opening stock and the price and cost of our opening stock is twelve thousand five hundred now we'll add purchases to our opening stock our purchases is four thousand we have four thousand three hundred and twenty one now once we add these two together, we have 16,821 from our opening stock and purchases. Then also, we add our carriage inwards, that is the cost of conveying the goods from where we got it to our premises. Now, our carriage inwards is 564. We add this, we have 5, we have 8, 13, 3, and this will give me 7, 17,385. Now, once we have this, before we get to cost of goods available, we have to subtract our purchases return or our return afterwards, depending on the terms that was that is used. Here we have purchases return. Purchases return is 556. So we have purchase return or return outwards which is 556 in accounting terms when you see a figure in bracket it means subtract and if we are subtracting this we will borrow one this will be 15 15 take away 6 is 9 7 minus 5 is 2 borrow one this is 13 minus 5 is 8 and we have 16,000 so this brings us to cost of goods available for sale now once we got our cost of goods available for sale we left our closing stock our closing stock from the question at the top we have closing stock up there we say closing stock is 4500 we have 4500 remember in brackets because we are subtracting 9 minus 0 is 9, 2 minus 0 is 2, 8 minus 5 is 3, 6 minus 4 is 2, we we'll bring this down, 12,329, this gives us cost of goods available for sale, cost of goods available for sale, I had to write that in short form in order for me to maximize space. Now, to proceed from here, we come to this credit type where we have our sales. The total amount for sales is 40500 Now, I'll check for sales return or return afterwards, and we have that in the transaction, which is 345 So, we have sales return, that is the amount of goods that was returned back to the trader after it has been sold by the buyer. So we have 345. This is also subtracted from our sales. If you subtract this, we borrow this, will give me 10, 5, this is 9, minus 4 is 5, this is 4, minus 3 is 1, then we have 40,155. Now, now we've gotten 40,155. It brings us to what is called a gross profit. Gross profit because the amount on the credit side is more than the cost of goods available for sale. So once we do this subtraction, we have 40,155 minus 12,329. This is 15, 6, this is 4, 2, 
borrow this is 11 11 will give me 8 this is 9 will give me 7 and this is 3 will give me 2 so that means we have gross profit because that is higher than this and our gross profit is 27,826 by the time we sum these two numbers together it's going to give us the total amount we have there which is 40,155 now that we've gotten our gross profit, we are going to close our account with Z form to bring me down to 40,155. Now we are done with we are done with trading account. Proceeding to profit and loss. We'll carry this our gross profit over to this side, which will give us gross profit brought down. Now, the amount of gross profit that was brought down is 27,826. Now, under this, every expenses that was incurred during the accounting year will be recorded under this aspect. So, from this particular, we we'll look for carriage outwards, it's a uh, expenses because it's the amount of goods, uh, amount paid to convey goods for your customers from the places where it was purchased back to their own areas, more or less like after sales services. So 321. Then we come down, we are looking for expenses. Discount allowed is an expenses. Uh, discount allowed is 330. Then we have rent and rate. Rent and rate is 410. We have um, transportation. Transportation is 120. We have bad debts, which is irrecoverable debt. Bad debts is 400. Now, okay, we don't have any other expenses. Now we have discount receipt. Discount received is an income because it increases the value of what you have. So we add it to our gross profit. Here we have discount received. So any receivable is put uh, under the gross profit and we sum it up together. So this is 450. Now if I add these two together, this will give me 6, this will give me 7, this will give me 12, 2, this will 8, 2. Now, I can easily add all these and subtract from it. So let's just do the sum to make it easier. This will give me 1. This is 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 6, 10, 11, 15, which gives us 1,581. Seeing that this is higher than this, so we are going to subtract it from there. So I have 28,276. Subtract the total expenses, which is 1581. This is 5. We borrow this is 17 minus 8 is 9. 11. This is um, 1 year is 11 minus 5 is 6. This is 7 minus 1 is 6. So this gives me 26,609. Sorry, this is 26,695. If we add this together, it will give me 6, this plus this is 17, 7 carry 1, 11, 12, 2 carry 1, 7, 8, to bring us actually to this figure. And this figure we have, the excess uh, income over expenses is known as net profit, meaning that we made a net profit at the end of the accounting year, when we close this account with double lines, which will give me... 28,276. So in this transaction, um, Cora and Sons made a gross profit of 27,826 and a net profit of 26,695. So the essence of the trading account is to ascertain the gross profit or the gross loss of the business and the essence of the profit and loss account is to ascertain the net profit or the net loss. Now, in some questions, you will be asked to uh, just find the cost of goods available for sale. Meaning, once you get here, you just stop. That is your figure. Or if they ask you to calculate the cost of goods, uh, cost of goods sold. Sorry, this is cost of goods sold. 
it's not supposed to be available for sale. Cost of goods sold, which will give us 12,329. So that is that so far for the time. I believe we understand. Thank you so much for the class.